These are the days of the great restoration, and the Lord is whispering to the bride of Christ, saying, baby, come back. Come back to your roots. Come back to the understanding that love between a wife and a husband can never last unless it's unconditional. That is the secret of the mystery of the bride and the groom. And so in this day, the lion of Zion is roaring softly as like a little itty kitty's purr. Baby, come back. And come back to the first love, where love is passionate, where love is holding each other's hands with fondness and cannot get each other off of our hearts. And it's time that we don't want to go back to go. We've come so far. So don't forget the past, look to the future, and realize we can come back. Just like the um, prodigal son, doesn't matter how bad we've been, everything about love is something that keeps drawing us back, as if we were but a moth drawn to the flame of passion. Even the passion, if we can just remit, relieve, in our hearts and believe that we have been bad and we can't live without love that overshadows our wickedness. And so it's time to go forward and remove all the masks, to take down the veneer of shallow heart that cannot embrace anything beyond its own self. For beware of the green-eyed monster jealousy that mocks the meat it preyeth upon. So wish that we can come back to the very first truth that Christ is love. That is his truest name. And as his name is lifted up and exalted to the nations, every knee will bow at his name. Every tongue can, will confess that. Because all that want love can't live at all without him. He is the essence. And let us celebrate that now that we put it all together, that we can know that we there is no good person, lest any man boast. It's all him, goodness, in us. That is the faith of the star of stars, the star that says, have you used it all up? Is there any love left for him? Can you let it flow again? Can you be a player of hope? Because as the bride of Christ, unfaithful as we have been, he is saying come back because there is something about him and he knows there's something damn good about us that he would even bother with us because we have been fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of his awesomeness and it's time that we should never want to live without him because all that is wrong about us is the lack of love. There is only one force in this world, the force of passionate love or the absence thereof. Who has passion left in this world? Who has their love fervently moving forth as a river of blessedness to bring forth the message of Malachi 3, one to prepare his way, him saying, I am your God, you are my people. I have forgiven all your wretchedness, all your iniquity, and I shall never remember it again. He says, I'll write my law and love on your heart. Beyond that, no more shall anyone ever need to be taught of me. And if he throws one person in hell, the Bible is but a book of toilet paper because he would be a liar. He is promising to forgive. He cannot lie.